I give myself some space. Now firstly do a nice black line again. And I'm going to call this scripture. And now to put the whole script together. And this is the fun part. So you say equals that, push the and sign, that, and sign, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and. scroll now. That and 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 that. Push enter and you will see the full script has been generated here. Now before you do this, please make sure that you go through this and make sure that you've got enough spaces in here and that everything makes sense. So we've got DS add user and then we've got quotations with everything in between there. So there's a comma, there's another comma there. Then we've got a space after it and then it goes into, it's gonna make this bigger. And then you have space, and then it goes UPN in the email address. And you'll notice there's no space actually here. So there's no space between the .com and the first name. And you'll notice there's no space here either. So let's go into this quickly. So FN. Let's put a space and put another space in front of that. Push enter. Let's give that a bit of space. And so we've got that. So there's a space there. And then last name. Let's put a space after it and a space before. And let's push enter. And let's make the column a bit bigger. And let's go and look at the code now. Okay, so that looks better. Space FN, space Andy Lee space ln, space Bernard, space display, space Andy Lee Barnard. There's no space after that, and there's no space after the PWD. But everything else looks fine. So I just need a space before and after PWD. Okay, so that's here. Let's put a space, and let's put another space. Make the column a little bit bigger. Perfect. So now you will see that is there. Now before you drag down and everything, I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go over to my um, Active Directory here. I'm just going to clear the screen so you can see what's happening. And I'm going to paste that in. So just by right clicking and pushing enter. So it says DS add succeeded and the common name is Andy Lee Barnard and his he's put into this taming gsuite.com so if you go here and you just refresh this you'll see Andy Lee Barnard there let's go inside him so you've got first name you've got last name there's display name that we spoke about under account you'll see there's his username which we discussed his account must change his password at next login his account never expires. And now you can't see everything else. So I'm just going to push OK and I'm going to go view and say advanced features here and go back into Andy Lee Barnard. And you go to attribute editor and scroll all the way down. You'll see a couple of things under UPN, user principal name. There's his email address and his SAM account name, which is Andy Lee Barnard there. And there is 
and the CN, there is his name there. And now you can see all the things that we entered. So there's his display name. There's certain other things that it automatically puts in under given name, so that's first name. Initials we spoke about are not obviously put in. And that is how you add a user quite easily using a script. Let's go back to the, the spreadsheet, finish this code, copy them in, and finish this lesson. Dragging that down. Okay, we don't need these couple, so let's delete that. And let's drag that down. So what we can do now is we're actually going to highlight this whole script for all the users that we want to do. So it might be just a couple for you, or it might be a thousand, whatever you want to do, and you say copy. And I'm going to right click. Now the last one you'll see here on Ryan doesn't actually push enter. You just push enter, and that is the last one. So I'm just going to scroll up here. And what you'll see here is that it says previously Andy Lee was succeeded. And now when I paste it again, it says Andy Lee has failed because the specified account already exists. So even if you try and add him twice, he won't add. Okay, and that gets you there. Let's go back to the Active Directory users and computers and say refresh. Let's make this a little bit bigger. You'll see all of them there. Perfect. So that is how to add users using a script. In the following lesson, we're going to download and install the Google Cloud Sync. And we are going to synchronize these users to our G Suite account. See you then.